What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Montreal Canadiens franchise series here. We just finished the second round. Uh, we lost in a heartbreaking fashion against the Maple Leafs in Game 7 in overtime. But yeah, it's time to move on now. We have to get better. Hopefully some of our young players grow in the offseason and we can just bounce back next season and actually get to our end goal and win the Stanley Cup once and for all. So... Uh, I didn't simulate all the way up to the draft. I just want to show you quickly the draft class. Uh, we're going to do the draft in this episode and potentially the free agency as well. So there are some really good players here. Uh, let me see if I can scout this guy. Can I? Okay, I don't have anybody in the region. But yeah, there's, some, there's a few good players here. Uh, nothing too crazy, though. I'm going to be picking around around the 21st to the 20 yeah the 29th or something so depending on who is available here guys i may look to trade a first round pick this is a year where we need to actually improve and uh if we're not gonna get a elite player if we're just gonna get a top six i might as well just trade it because i think the uh yeah first round is more valuable than a top six forward so i showed you before the um the Eastern Con Eastern and Western Conference Finals, it's going to be the Jackets against the Leafs and then the Golden Knights against the Blues. So that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, we'll just see if I want to actually take do my due diligence and see if there's anybody we need to re-sign ahead of the draft just so we can re-sign them and not have to worry about that. Julius Honk is a player that we have to re-sign, so let's offer him a contract extension. He wants, does he want to re-sign with us? He does, actually, so... That's great news. If I give him 4.9250 for five years, let's see if this he would actually accept that. He's only 26 years old, but he might turn 27 soon. Victor Rask, another player that I acquired. He Does he want an extension? Let's see. He does want an extension, so if we can get him for 3.325 for two years. He's, <coughs> he's 83, sorry. So... He's actually a really big contributor, and he wants less than what he was making this season, so that's very good. Nikita Sherback doesn't really want an extension. Corey Perry does for league, does as well, but I'm not going to sign him. Uh, Paling, he, we have to re-sign him, so we're going to have to give him a big boy contract. 1.8250, that's fine for one year. Charles Udon, so I'm going to slow down on that. I'm not going to do, do anything for him. I'm just going to take care of the free agents right now. And Nikita Sherback, do we give him a contract? Five years, 83. He's a pretty good contributor, but you know what? I'm going to wait for now, see what happens in the draft, and then maybe we'll give him a contract after the draft. But hopefully the two players that I extended offers to actually accept. Central Scouting has released her. Okay, Rask has accepted a little bit less money, which is good. And Honkin has accepted as well. And Paling rejected. So he wants a little bit more money. So let's go back to contracts again. The good thing I, that I like about this game is that you can actually offer contracts before the season is over. You don't have to wait until the offseason, which is, makes it more realistic in my opinion. So Paling here. Offer him an extension. 1.9250. I don't want to give him quite 2 million just, just yet. So... Okay, we've done that, and then I'm going to simulate a couple days, make sure that he signs before I take it all the way up to the draft. Okay, so he still said no, so if I give him two millions, that's that's as much as I'm going to give him for a fourth line center. I don't know how much this guy wants. Two million is enough, I think. Like The thing when you create the players also, guys, that I forgot to tell you, I don't know if I have yet, but... When uh, you create a player from the creative players like Ryan Paling, he obviously plays in the NCAA, so he's not in the game. When you give him a three-year contract, uh, you can't give him, like after the three years, he's he's not part of your RFAs. He's part of uh, his uh, UFA, so that's really annoying. But yeah, hopefully he accepts now. This guy doesn't want to sign with us, it seems like. So you know what? I'm not going to sign him just yet. Whatever. Uh, we're not going to let him go out to free agency just yet, but we're not going to overpay for him right now. He probably, hopefully he lowers down his expectations soon. So I'm going to click to simulate up to the, all the way up to the draft now and see who wins the Stanley Cup. So 
Paling is back. Assistant coach, best rosters. We'll do that. And yeah, Paling is only an 80. He didn't really grow throughout the season, so I don't know why he wants so much money. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. Are you kidding me? My worst nightmare has happened. The Leafs win the Cup before us. And the Devils win uh, the AHL Cup. So that's the salary. It's gone up a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna stop simulating right now and want to see the. I want to see what's it called the um, the individual awards. But that's the draft lottery result. L. A. Calgary, Chicago, the top three. Florida, New York, the top five. And then you guys see the rest of the teams. It doesn't matter because we're not in it. So, take a quick look here at the trophies and who won what the awards. Stanley Cup won by the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, so two Canadian teams in a row. That's pretty good. Uh, what else? Columbus Blue Jackets won the Presidents. Claris Campbell, St. Louis, and Toronto obviously won. <clears throat> the other one, the AHL, the Calder Cup. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you the player awards first. Art Ross for Patty Kane. Hart Memorial for Kuznetsov. The Norris won to, went to Carlson again. Patty Kane to uh, Lady Bing. Calder Memorial, Quentin Byfield. Complete stud. So in the first three years, or no, in the first four years, it's been Middle Stats, Sontag, a creative player, Hughes, a player, uh, player that I created, and Quentin Byfield, a creative player as well. So three studs right there. Connie Smythe went to Freddie Anderson. Holby got the Vezina, and he got the Jennings as well. Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy went to Jocelyn Braun. Uh, Wenberg won the Selkie. Ted Lindsay won the... What? Taylor Sagan won the Ted Lindsay. That's awarded to the most outstanding player as selected by the members of the NHL. So the players actually voted uh, for Sagan to be the best player in the league this season. So that's good news. But I wish he would have delivered a little bit more in the playoffs. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko got the Maurice Richard. Pretty realistic in my opinion, so that's good. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna exit out of here. We don't need to see who um won the Calder Cup, so we're just gonna go to send the draft again via the draft class. I don't think anything has changed. I don't think or yeah, we haven't really scouted anyone any. Anyways, right now, do we have any gems? I think we can take a look to see if we have gems. Okay, so we have one low elite and then one medium elite, another goalie medium elite. So when is this guy supposed to go? 67th, and then this guy's a medium top six, so he doesn't matter. He may, I may not want to grab him. He's supposed to go, si yeah, 50th. When would be, uh, yeah, this would be in the third round here, and this would be in the second. We have another low elite player here. And then, yeah, we have three gems and one bust. Hopefully, we can try and get all of them, but it's not guaranteed. Some players may get them. I mean, some teams may get these players, I wanted to say. Let's take a look at the retirements. Zetterberg finally retired. Kovalchuk retired as well after having a massive season, I think, this season, right? I think he had a point per game this season, which is crazy to see him retired. So, yeah, 87 points, back-to-back -back seasons. Pavelski retired. Vanek retired. Koivu retired. Uh, Burns retired, Palmonville did, uh, what's his name, Perry didn't retire, which is surprising, so we might have a chance to re-sign him, but that's fine, I don't really want to sign him just yet, and let's see the goalies, Ryan Miller, Howard, Anderson, Elliott, so those are the retired players, let's see, can we get into the draft, okay, we ha we're right here in the draft, Let's see if there are any players on the block that we may look to trade for. This is browse the trade block here because, like I said, I may look to trade my first rounder. Let's see, Carl. I mean, Larson is here. He may be a player that interests us. Uh, Twenty-five, eighty-seven. When does he need a contract? He needs a contract this year, so and he hasn't signed an extension just yet, so. This might be a player that we we trade for, I mean. If we include a first rounder, I know our first rounder last year was worth a crap ton, but this year it's not really. Not last year, sorry, but la during the season, 
he's worth a lot but this right now it's not worth that much let's see defenders if we include clef bomb yeah it's i don't think it's still enough let's see yeah ortio he has a whole lot of value here but yeah Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if Carlson, or I mean Larson, is a possibility. But I'll I'll take a look at some of these other players that they wanna that are on the block that they've put on the block. So if I see something, I'll bring you guys back. So give me a second here. All right, guys. So nothing really too impressive here as far as the trade blocks. So you know what? I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do anything uh, with our first round pick. Maybe if some some offers come in, but we'll see. Uh, the LA Kings signed. Uh, this demon Zykov, uh with the first overall he's medium lead so that's pretty good but yeah like I said uh yeah he, we're not gonna we're not gonna trade our first round pick I may look to trade down we'll see we'll simulate up to our user pick see if anybody wants to trade no okay nobody wanted to trade top four top six let's see let's take a little actually I'll take a time out after I just take a look at the these other players so this medium elite player Bone Gardner would have been perfect for us to get, but he's already he's already been picked. I don't think I have anybody scouted that's a medium elite that's supposed to go in the first round. So that's another medium elite here. Uh, but this is this I guess this is a top four, so pretty good. The top five are actually all medium elites, and then it went down to the top six, top six, top six. So let's see what our options are. Let's call a timeout first and foremost. And go to our, yeah, make the pick, I guess. Yeah, make the pick here. See who is available. So top six, medium top six, one goal in 20 games. Not really too enticing. This guy kind of killed it in the, in Dante Leedy, or Letty, sorry. Killed it in the USA. Subban, Kate Subban. Wonder if he's related to actually PK. Who knows? Uh, there's nothing really here too interesting. So what I'm thinking is maybe trade. Oh. There's this franchise goalie at the 42nd position, and then there's there was a couple lead right. No, yeah, franchise. So if I can get. One of these guys. This guy has low elite. He's not the gem that we saw, but he has low elite potential. This guy has two bars low elite, and then this guy has a two bars medium franchise. So if I can trade my pick for a couple um, second rounders, we'll see if this works. So just give me a second here. All right, guys. So I found another team here that wants to get rid of their first, second, and actually two seconds. Uh, which is Tampa Bay. Um, we are giving them our first round pick. I think this may not even go through, but a first round pick, Haglin and Armia, <coughs> Armia, sorry, for their first, second, and third. I wonder if I give them our third here. Do we even have a third this year? Let me check. Take a look quickly. This is a huge haul to pay for um, the players there, but yeah, we don't have a third, so. If I give them our second, do they even want our second? Okay, our second next year. Let's see if this would work out. A first, Hogland, Armia, and a second for two seconds and a third and a first. Let's see if this would work out. You know what? Actually, I might might be able to make it simpler, guys. Let's see. Thirty fifth and a forty fourth for our first. Two second rounders for our first. I think we take the value here. And I just want to take a quick look again and see where uh, I'm so undecisive right now. I just want to see where those guys are. I think they're 40th and a higher, right? Franchise is 42nd. And then this guy has two stars for 39th. And then this guy has, this guy has lowly three stars for 42nd. So... And another guy here for 44th. Another say again. So, you know what? I'm going to try and trade them. My 
I'm going to try and trade Tampa Bay my first for their two seconds right there. Let's see if this would work out. Tampa Bay here. Let's see, let's see. Not their first. Two seconds. Let's see if this would work for our first first round pick here. Would this go through? Probably not. I think their value is a little bit on, on their side, but let's try it. Trade rejected. Okay, so if we add... I think if we add our Mia, this may go through. It might be a little too much, a little bit of an overpay, but make sure Mia is not worth a lot. But let's see, let's see if this would go through. Trade rejected. So we're gonna have to offer them a prospect as well. Let's see, skaters match in the block. Who do we have here that they may want? I'm thinking Hogland. Should we do Hogland instead? Hogland and a first rounder for their two seconds. Let's see if this would go through. Okay, so they accept it. So we have to get rid of our um, low top four player. But yeah, we'll just simulate to our pick now. Hopefully nobody's taken the franchise goalie. Let me see here. What spot were we at? 23rd, I think. 23rd, they picked a high top nine, medium top six, medium top six. All medium top six, low lead for Hopkins. And then let's go to the second round here. Think anything has happened yeah medium top six medium top nine medium top nine okay so we might have to roll the dice on one of these guys yeah i'm thinking this guy right what do you guys think kate cleason from the ohl mississauga steelheads he uh is a medium franchise even if he is a medium elite or low elite. He'd be a good pick, I think. So we can pick him. If not, we have Grenier, but he only has two bars. We have McIntyre as well, who's a right winger. And then we also have this other guy too. Mayorov, medium top, medium elite. And then Sagan, medium elite as well. And medium top four here for Lawton, so... There are some options better than what we saw earlier. Be not not earlier, but better than what we actually picked or traded away. Sorry, I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so Cleason is going to be your pick, I think. Medium franchise, two bars. Let's see if he actually turns out to something. Medium franchise. Oh my God, what a pick. What a pick. Are you kidding me? So this trade was actually genius, guys. We got a medium franchise goalie. That's great news. Simulate to the next pick here. I'm so pumped. Low lead for Calvert. Low lead for McIntyre. So that was a player that we we're looking at. Low lead for Grenier. What else? Hainsey, Dennis. Okay, so got a couple low leads there in between our pick and the pick that we got the goalie in. But let's see if there are any, <coughs> sorry, any other low leads. Sagan is still here. Should we grab him, or do we have the choice of a couple medium top sixes or a medium top four? What do we have here? Medium top six, medium top six. You know what? I'm going to actually not take the medium top four because we can probably get him here at 56th. I know we have a, f uh, a pick in around the 50th, so. Uh, where was that guy? Okay, Sagan is... The next logical choice, he has three bars low lead. I think he's for sure going to be a low lead. So let's just make the pick here. Low lead, not bad. So a few low leads here. So pretty decent. We have a franchise, a low lead. And we still have one more pick in the second round. Yeah. Let's see if anything else came up after our pick. Top four, top four, a couple top fours. This guy, Mayorov, was another low lead. That was the next best choice for us, but we, we went with Sagan, so pretty decent. Let's see here. Medium top nine, medium top nine, medium top four. That's the guy that I was telling you guys that I could get. Let's see the gems. 
who's out here for the gems okay so we have a low elite for sure and a medium elite so you know what i'm gonna go with the medium elite right now because this low elite is a he's ranked in the 200 so let's go with the medium elite here oh we actually have a medium elite right wing here as well so 64th two-way forward right wing rick brun so you know what i'm gonna go with medium elite rick brun here but we have the goalie here too who should we who should i grab two medium elites 64th and 69th i'm gonna pick the right winger screw it we just got a a stud of a um of a goalie just now but let me see if i can trade this is a 55th so this guy was supposed to go in the hold up here let's see the draft class again sorry when is when is the goalie supposed to go? The goalie's supposed to go sixty seventh, so I think that's even next round. What what's Toronto's pick here? Sixty second, so I may get away with uh, trading. Let's simulate up to next round here, and maybe one of the first third round picks because i don't know when we're picking yeah we're not picking anywhere in the first five so it needs to be the first five here so dallas let's try and trade them yeah okay so they want to get rid of their pick here so if we give them oh, we don't have a third crap okay so this is a little bit more complicated so okay we, we're gonna give them our fourth and then Kind of overreaching for this goalie, but gotta give it a try, you know. This is a the one of the Brune guys, yeah, the guy that we actually selected. And uh, when was it? the second round? I didn't realize he was nineteen already, but pretty good grab in my opinion. Uh, Suzuki actually went up to high top six. That's really good. I didn't even know that players could uh ha get their overalls higher during the season like that or after they were created, but that's good news. Uh, so yeah, we have a pretty good crop of young players right there. Um, let's see. Do they want anybody here? Katoria, they did want. Let me trade this Kearns guy. Kearns and a fourth for their third. I think this would go through for sure. Let's try it out. They accept. Okay, so now we have a chance to pick that medium elite goalie now. The gem that we wanted to get, so... Low lead for Furland, but we have the goalie here who's medium elite, who is for sure a medium elite. So let's just pick him. Frolov, okay, so we got a medium elite now, and we're, we're just going to simulate to our next user pick, which should be in the sixth round, I believe. Or fifth round, sorry. So the fifth round now, uh, let's just see who's up here. Nothing really too crazy. Is it the gem still here? He should be, right? Yeah, the gem is still here. Low elite defenseman. He's 19, though, so I'm going to hold off until the seventh round because that's usually when I like to take my, uh, my what's it called, my older defenseman. Nothing really too crazy here. Is there any top six? No, low, low. Okay, nothing too crazy. Let's see, this guy, how old is he? Center, 18, Davis Sigale, might be a player. This guy has two stars, so. Just thinking right now. Medium, two stars for medium. 17, let's just pick him, Riley Page. Please medium, medium top six, so not exactly what I wanted to see there. We're going to simulate it to the next round. We should have a sixth, right? Yeah, we do have a sixth round pick. So, uh, I'm thinking right now, should we grab the goalie? Sorry, not the goalie, the, the gem. He's a defenseman, right? Yeah, so two, 290 seconds. So, I don't even think there are 200 choices here, right? Let's see. What position are we at? 175th so no there are not they're not um 200 and whatever 
choices. So let's just go to potential again and see what's out here. So this guy's low lead. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, that's the guy we know about. Mm. That guy's 20. That guy only has one bar. This guy has three bars. Low lead, though. Medium top four. Should we take a chance on Ariel Drury? If he's a medium top four, that would be a good find for us. Seventh defenseman. Wow. Okay, that was a huge bust there for us. Did we get rid of our seventh? Okay, no, we didn't. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take the low, low lead demon now, the gem. I'm going to stop messing around here. Hopefully he's still here. Yeah, he is. Okay, so what's his name? Justin Austin from the Swedish or Sweden League or something or Switzerland League uh, with our last pick. And then we're just going to go and finish the draft. So pretty decent draft. We got a franchise goalie, guys. So I'm excited to see this guy's overall. Oh, actually, sorry. I thought I simulated the draft. Same to next round. Did we get any? Okay, we didn't. So. That's the draft right there for us. A lot less volume as far as draft comp draft picks compared to last year. We got Gleason, or who's a franchise goalie, Sagan, Brune, <laughs> Brune, that's so funny, Frolov, Page, Drury, who's a bust, and Austin, who's a low elite, so not bad. It's a pretty decent uh, crop of players in my opinion. Let's go to uh, resign stage, and I'll show you who is... Who is um who still needs to be re-signed? So you guys know I think the players that need to be re-signed, but I will just quickly show you before anything. I think the cap's gone up to a 95, so we have 16 million in cap space. So let's see. Okay, so the RFAs are Mete, Foot, Brook, Myers, Bitten, Lemieux, Vegdemo, Fleury. And then some of these other guys are just busts. So I'm not even, I think I even picked this guy last draft, 2020 draft. I'm not even going to sign him. Just release the guy. But yeah, guys, just give me a second. Now I'm going to see who I can sign right now. And I'll bring you guys back uh, when they've accepted. So give me a second. All right, guys, so I extended some offers to some of these players that are RFAs and UFAs. So Xarnik accepted. He's an HL player. Ryan Paling still rejected. I gave him two years. That's uh, kind of annoying. Victor Mete accepted. Sherback rejected, so he still wants to test the free agency market. Sunquist accepted. Myers accepted. Jar accepted. Christensen, Bitten, Brook, Flurry, Baldwin. So those are some of our prospects. But the main guys here are... What's it called? Paling and what's this other guy? Uh, Sherback, who don't want to sign with us. So I'm wondering if I should try and sign this Brune guy and see how good he is. You know what? I'm going to hold off for this year. Yeah, I'm going to hold off for a, for a couple of these guys here. Uh, this guy actually, Dubnik right wing I might sign him because he's almost done his contract is up up next year so yeah so I'm gonna give him maybe give him a chance to play in the in the AHL if he can if not no worries so Sherbeck still wants a contract but he is not gonna accept anything I'm gonna release for leak I'm going to, yeah, I extended an RFA offer to Lemieux and to Foot. Foot wanted way too much money, guys, so I just extended an offer. You don't want a little bit money, of money as well. Mersh, let's see. If he wants to sign a two-way, I'm going to say yes. So, yeah, okay, two-way for him. Why not? But now the big boys here. Paling, how much con How much uh, cap space do we have? Okay, 14 dollars. 14 million so if I give him 2.3 for two years that's too much I think in my opinion and then Sherback I think he's done growing this right now so if I give him I don't want to give him five years though guys if I give him five years a 
I think that might be decent. If not, I'll just let them walk to free agency and try and sign them there. But I'll still have to overpay them, I think. So Paling rejected, Sherback rejected still. Mersh accepted, Dubnik accepted, so. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just let them walk or what? What's the deal here? Pending free agents, let's see if anybody interesting is here. Phil Forsberg, Morgan Riley, that's crazy. 91 for Riley, he's so overrated. He's a good player, but I don't think he's worth 90. Hampus Lindholm might go to free agency, guys, if Anaheim doesn't have the money to sign him. Obviously, these are pending, so they're not all going to come, but crop of pretty good players here, in my opinion. Klimberg is also there, Zadarov, Duchesne, Trocek, Nemesnikov. So he might be able to replace uh, Sherback, I think. Richie. So you know what? Let me just make sure I sign Paling first. That's so annoying. It shouldn't even... That shouldn't even happen, like having to sign an... A player that's only like 20 over 20 years old or not 20 but like 22 max and having to sign him just because I created him like that's so bad let's see how much pair you wants actually 2.425 maybe we'll see if we have some money in the free agency so 2.450 that's as much yes I think that's as much as I'm gonna go Sherback, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to try and sign this guy. Not worth it, in my opinion. Let's see. Okay, freaking this guy finally re-signed. Let's see how much money we got left. So, view contracts. Let's see if we can if we can even afford this guy. Paling, and not Paling, but Sherback. Are we even going to be able to afford him? I wish I signed him to a longer contract when he's in on RFA still. 5.4 for five years. One way. We still have 13 million. So if he signs, we'll have around 8 million. 7.5. So that's good for one free agent. So okay, he's not going to sign with us. So we're going to simulate to free agency. Screw you, Sherback. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to actually stop because I think we have a couple goalies that I didn't sign. So that's a good thing that I checked. I know I always forget goalies for some reason. So let's see. We have Booth here. High backup. So we're, we'll give him a... He, will, he wants a one-way though. So we'll just tender qualify this guy. And then we have Drieger. No... Medium backup, 21. Uh, French starter. I'm going to sign both of these guys just to potentially trade them in the future. Because otherwise they'd just be lost assets, you know. So if we can get something for them in the future, we will. This guy, Gleason, medium franchise, though. That's crazy, guys. I'm not going to try and sign him just yet because we have a lot of goalies in the in the system here. But that's crazy. One medium elite goalie and then actually two medium elite goalies and one franchise, medium franchise. So, uh, yeah, so it's looking good for us, I think. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything anymore. All right, so a couple of these goalies accepted, I think. Oh, we don't have room for Beagle. So he's just in a backup. So whatever, we'll, we just we won't sign him. Uh, some of these guys have not been renewed. That's fine. We'll just I want to see quickly uh, the free agent. So I'll we'll just leave it like that. I want to see who actually made it to free agency first and foremost. And we might have to make a splash here. Okay, so Goudreau made it. Seth Jones, guys. Holy moly. Seth Jones. Lenholm also made it, guys. So that's really good. Nine millions for Jones, almost ten millions. Seven point three for Jones or for Lenholm. Who should I sign? Twenty-eight and twenty-seven. So that's pretty good. That's a really good free agency class right here. I'm impressed. So Sherback still wants a lot of money for his overall. 
I mean, compared to some of these other guys, it's not bad, but this is a huge, huge free agency class right here. I might look to get Nemesnikov instead of Sherback. We'll see. Quinn Hughes is an RFA. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Riley Smith also. Nudivara. So, wait, let me just hang on here. Yeah, Cal Foot is an RFA as well, but he's with he's with us. Uh, he's just on a tender qualify, so. Matias Ekholm, wow, this is a huge, huge friggin' uh, free agency. So, wait, let me calm down here. I think, uh, let me see. I want to take a quick look at some of the values that we have for some of our players. See if anybody has grown. I don't think anybody has yet because it's still in free agency. But actually, Kakanimi went up to an 88. Crazy. 83. Glebov 79. Drain 88. So you have some good good value here. Suzuki, I'm so pumped that he went up to a top six high. Uh, let's see. Domi, Ras, Gallagher, Pritchett. So also, let's keep in mind that we have... A need in the right wing spot as well so if we can sign someone there for the right wing that'll be perfect if not no worries but yeah I'm just taking a look here at who we have it's looking pretty good it's looking very very good let's take a look at our goalies I know we had a few goalies that we could have traded franchise medium franchise yells he's almost the same value as carry price which is crazy uh, Frolov, the Kaiser. So a couple of these guys that I'm gonna I'm gonna trade. Uh, Burry, yeah, Burry, and these two franchise. I mean, not these two franchise, but these two. Um, what's it called? These two French starters. I'm gonna try and trade. So I'll see if I can trade these two franchise. And French starters, I'm sorry, not franchise, French starters, and I'll bring you guys back. Just give me a second. All right, guys, here trying to trade Lim back for a third round pick. Let's see if this would go through. It did. Okay, perfect. And I'll also trade this other guy for, um, what's it called? For third or fourth. So what is he? Burry, yeah. Burry's 21, 60, so not good enough. Let me see who wants to get rid of their thirds. Come on, what am I doing here? Okay, so another third maybe. No, they would have too many goalies. Okay. With these guys, no, they don't even have a third. Colorado maybe. This would go through. The value is a little bit on their side, so let's see if this would go through. Okay, so no. So fourth and a fifth. Okay, trade accepted. So we got a third, a fourth, and a fifth for those two goalies that we weren't going to use anyway. So I think we should have the contract space now. Uh, let me let me go back here and see which free agents are available here. So Goudreau, left wing, Mantha, 88. I don't think he's 88, though. 27, so probably not. He's a little too much. Forsberg. Forsberg, medium elite. Damn, this is crazy. First player that I'm going to sign, though, is going to be Lindholm. <sighs> Should I sign Lindholm? 13.450. This is some big decisions, guys. P.K. Subban is also... Wow, P.K. Subban is a free agent, too. Did his contract run up? That's crazy. We could bring him back. I don't know. He's already 33, though. So even though it's one of my favorite players of all time, he is a bit too old, and he wants $7 million. So we can get for $200,000 more, we can get a 28-year-old, 89, who has he was about the same overall as Subban. So I'm going to give him 7 points, 7.675. One way. Man. Should I give him 8 million? Just to make sure we get him. 
for five years. Let me take a look at the contracts really quickly here. I mean, the contract, the cap's gonna go up, so you know. Let's see here. Okay, so who do we have to sign next year? Jonathan Duran, so that's gonna be a big, big player to sign. Clef Bomb. So Clef Bomb is done after this year. Armia, Romanov, Sunquist, Kokaniemi, that's a big one. Orteo, that's another big one. Myers, Phillips. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna trade Clef Bomb right about now, I think. I'm gonna give eight million to Sorry, uh, yeah, so I'm going to sign Lindholm. He better say yes, guys. I'm going to try and sign him first before I even try to. Um, I'm going to give him 7.8525. Let's, let's do it. A little bit shy of 8 million. Forsberg is also a player that intrigues me, but we'll try and just sign Lindholm first. And then if we see anybody, actually, let me scout quickly the trade block and see if there's anything interesting as far as right wings, because we have to trade Clefbaum if we sign, um, what's his name there, Lindholm. So I'll just quickly get take a look. All right, so no one really too interesting here on the trade block so i'm just going to advance a couple days and see if he accepts suzuki and a second for atkinson atkinson no thank you he makes almost six million dollars so no uh but yeah like i was saying my ideal plan would be to keep uh what's his name clef bomb and then signing limb home and also having orto on the left side that would be insane but the thing is that clef bomb's contract is up after this year so I don't want to um, have him and then have to have to lose him for nothing. So we're still simulating a few days. Nothing has happened. Five days so far. Let's see who is still in the free agency. I would like to yeah, get a crack at Forsberg, I was going to say. Seth Jones is also available. So if something happens, we can go to Seth Jones and then trade instead Hamilton. But... I think the ideal player would be Lindholm, and he accepts. Insane, guys. Total insanity. So we have Lindholm on our team now. Two amazing free agents signings there. Lindholm and, um, what's his name? Lindholm and Sagan out of the fi first five years. So that's really, really good. I think we've done an amazing job with our cap space and managing our cap space in the, in the few first five seasons that we've had. So that's incredible. Now... Let me see how much money we got. So we have six million left. I might be tempted to just leave it here, guys, and let you guys let let you decide what you want me to do. Basically, there are there are Forsberg still on the block. I mean, not Forsberg. Yeah, Forsberg is not on the block, but he's on the free agents. He wants eight million for three years. I think he might be around eighty eight, eighty nine. He would be a perfect right winger for us. I know it says he's left wing, but he shoots from the right. He's only 27. Duchesne's also here. No, thank you. Subban. I don't think I'm going to sign Subban because he wants seven years, but he's pretty good. Uh, Nemesnikov. We also have to remember that we got to, if we don't, if we want to trade uh, Clefbaum, we're going to have to trade him either for a first line right wing or we can sign Forsberg after we trade him. And then we can trade. Um, Clef bomb to a th for a third line winger to replace Sherback, who is I, I guess he already signed for somebody, or uh, trade Clef bomb for a good young right winger, cheaper than Forsberg, and then sign maybe Nemesnikov or something like that, or Riley Smith for a couple years, um, for the third line. So, you guys let me know. I will show you quickly our roster so you guys know what to do here. Let's see. 
So we'll do by position, see how it's looking. So the centers are going to be Sagan, Kokaniemi, Rask, Paling. Glebov is most likely going to make the team. Zarnik is not. Let's see on our in the system here. Baldwin, no. Baldwin, low elite 76. So look, he's actually going to be an integral part of our AHL team. Uh, I don't know why I backed out, but yeah. So he's going to be a very important piece of our AHL team. Uh, so that's very good. He is a center, and then nothing else here. Suzuki's up to 70, 71. Decent. Left wing now, Domi and Duran. So Glebov would probably play on the left side of the third line in the system. Lemieux, no one here. So our wings are looking quite depleted here, in my opinion. Right wing, Gallagher, Suzuki, Armia. So we may look to trade Armia as well for a better, younger player, cheaper as well. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody in the system for right wing? Dubnik, 68. So we have a couple, uh, three elite players, four elite players, sorry, but they're not ready just yet. So we need some help in the offense, offensive side. So we have a pretty stacked decor now. It's going to be Lindholm, Hamilton, Clapham, which he's most likely going to be traded. So it's going to be Honka and Ortio, and then Sanheim and Mete, most likely, or Myers. Uh, where is, um, what's his face? Didn't I qual tender qualify? I think I tender qualified foot, so I better not lose him. Let me just double check here. And then you guys saw our goalies who are insane as well. So let me just go quickly and make sure that I didn't just lose Cal foot. I think he had the RFA symbol next to him. Where is he? You better not have signed with someone because I didn't get... Yeah, okay, he's right here. So, offer a contract. He wants some big boy money, guys. So, he's only 80. He hasn't grown, but it looks like he's going to grow a little more. Uh, I, yeah, these are all these other RFAs, but yeah. You guys let me know what you guys want me to do. 80, 8 million, sorry, for uh, probably 88, 89 Forsberg. And then trade Clefbaum for a young third line maybe potential of a second liner or um trade clef bomb for a first line right winger hopefully cheaper than eight million and then sign one of these guys for four five million so those are the two options guys i think uh after that we'll just have to sign our ahl team and that's going to be it for the off season so i want to wanted to cut the video a little bit short the draft took a while and then all these decisions took a while too but you guys know the plan now, and uh, I'll let you guys decide. So leave some suggestions below, please. I need some of your comments, and I need you guys to let me know as soon as possible because I don't want to have to wait a week uh, for to see some comments and then until I can record the video, you know. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, and like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.